Praise the Lord and welcome to everyone that is out there tonight. Those that are on Facebook, those that are tuning in, praise God from your various devices. God bless you and welcome to the program Scattering Roses, Real Testimony. Now somebody might be saying to themselves, what does this mean? What is this really all about? Well, let me just give you a little backstory. About maybe over seven years ago, the Lord really inspired me. After going to a number of funerals, as my profession, I am a videographer by trade. And going to a number of funerals, I realized that there are many times there are persons who would write a long, a very long eulogy, sometimes pages, praise God, of a eulogy. And there are various tributes that would have been made. And after the tributes, we have the eulogy and so much is being said of the person who's lying in the casket. However, the person who's lying there cannot hear. And you have to wonder if when the person was alive, if they knew, praise God, these things about themselves that they're talking about now. We tend to take life for granted. And as we've seen, even in recent time, that life, praise God, is very fragile. We can have it here today and it's gone tomorrow. So while we have persons alive, don't wait until they cannot hear you. Don't wait until they cannot appreciate what you're saying to say it. So therefore, we want to scatter the roses on persons while they are alive. There are some parents, there are some persons who have inspired you, some persons who have motivated you, and they would know because you've never said it. So we're using this program as a platform for you to be able to scatter your roses to let that individual know that you love them and that you care. Jesus said in his word that by this shall all men know that you're my disciples if you love one another. And that is the basis of which we are doing Scattering Roses. Now it is said Scattering Roses slash Real Testimony. And what the Real Testimony aspect is, um, obviously we know that God woke up this morning and he provided food on the table. But there must be something more. There must be something spectacular that God has done in your life that we want you to speak about an experience that you've had. Praise God that you can share to encourage somebody, especially in these times, so that they know that God has done and God can do. The, the, the scripture actually tells us that they overcame the dragon by the blood of the lamb and by what? The word of their testimony. His testimony is a very powerful weapon that we use to fight against the enemy. And we want to use these two things as a means of encouragement to be our brother's keeper. So, you're going to be calling into the program. As you can see, the number is 784, praise God, 9555. I think we have it on the um, screen there so persons can, can see it. You're going to be calling in and you're going to be scattering your roses on whosoever, praise God, you want to scatter it on. Remember now, you will be only given a specific time to be able to scatter your roses so you won't be getting a full 10 minutes praise god we want to use at least maybe about two minutes or so you scatter your roses if you have a testimony then we're asking you to do only one you're only allowed to do one you can't do the testimony and the scattering roses if you want to do both then you'll have to do one hang up try and call back again praise god so somebody else can get an opportunity so the phone lines are going to be open. Let me just repeat the number for you. It's 784-9555. That's 9555. 784-9555. So we're going to ask you to call in and just to scatter your roses. Hello? Bless the Lord, sir. Bless the Lord, my dear. Please state <laughs> your name and where you're calling from, even though I have an idea who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is Samisa Mathis. I'm calling from Montego Bay. God bless you. Bless you. I'm a member of the Restoration Center. Okay, really? Montego All right, Bay. that's good. That's good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm calling in tonight. I'm calling to scatter roses for Evangelist Tanit Mary. Okay. Um, a very unique individual who I admire so much. Praise and, God. you know, I love her with genuine love. You know, she has been there for me. You know, a person that I could call on in my weaknesses, in my strength. I still can depend upon her. You know, Amen. I can express myself to her and mm. don't have her judging me or anything like that. 
even though she might not have been in the situation that I've been in before, mm-hmm. but she has never been the one to ever judge me um, based on my past. When I speak with her, she always has the best encouraging words to give to me. Mm-hmm. And you really find that very weird these days in these times. Um, even true. among even among church folks and stuff like that. Even if they speak with you, then maybe two hours down the line, you hear another sister with another <laughs> sister with and stuff like that. So, a secret keeper, <laughs> she, 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 she prays with me because I can say, Mama, please pray with me because that's what I call her. I call her Mama. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm truly grateful that God had allowed me to meet such a genuine person. And I'm grateful that she's in my life. I'm Amen. not sure if she's listening, but if you're listening, Sister Mary, I love you. I love you. I love you. Don't change. Thank you for being who you are. You're a mother to me. That's the reason why I call you mama. Not because you're <laughs> older or anything like that, but because <laughs> you are another mama to me. So God bless you and don't change for anything at all. Praise God. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Tamisha Lindo. Okay. Uh, Lindo Matis, I should say, is calling in. God bless you and thank you for your call. Bless you, sir. Lines are still open. Remember now, the number is 784-9555. And you can call via WhatsApp or you can call straight. Lines are open. Okay, hello. Hello. Bless you, bless you, missionary Wallace. Yes, Lord, yes. Yes, bless you. Missionary Wallace. Yes. Out of yes. Mm-hmm. St. James, Montego Bay proper. <laughs> and um, also a member of the Restoration Center. Ministries. Praise God. Yes. Um, tonight, you know, I want to spread roses to... So, a young lady, you know, who very innovative. Mm-hmm. A young lady who wears many hats in the church. Mm-hmm. And um, her name is Missionary Kimberly. Oops. Praise God. And um, <laughs> she shows that young people can live for God. That's right. Young people can work for God. That's right. And work, young people can do exploits for God. Mm. And I really admire her dedication to the work of God. Mm. And I just want to tell her to continue doing what you're doing for the kingdom because God sees your faithfulness. And I Amen. know that he will reward you in due time. Due time. You know, just smile and just, you know, she's just an energetic person. She's just <laughs> into everything. That's true. You know, she, and she puts 100% in everything that she does. But tonight, missionary Kimberly Cooks, I just want to big you up and just tell you to continue serving God and continue doing the work that you're doing in it. God bless you. Praise nice God. Night, <laughs> All right, God bless you, missionary Wallace. Thank you so much for calling in. Praise God. So that was missionary Wallace calling in to bless missionary Kimberly Crooks. That's such a beautiful thing when people can admire you can see things in you that is worth talking about that was such a beautiful thing all right again let me repeat the number number is 7849555 so you can call in and scatter your roses god is still here bless the lord bless the lord um i can just go ahead and do my part right well, I need to know who you are and where you're calling from. <laughs> All right. So, Sister Tandiwi. All right. Yes. Calling from um, Smithfield. Praise God. Praise God. You know, I want to set a room tonight. Mm-hmm. On Sister Allison. All right. You know, she has been... By the way, which Sister Allison are you making reference Sister to? Sister Allison Horton. All right. All Evangelist right. Horton, I'm sorry. Evangelist <laughs> Allison Horton. Um, she has been a power strength ever since. And I just admire her 
mm. we're coming from far when you know the church just started out and mm. she has always been here and that has been my motivation Praise the fact God. that she has really held on i really love that whenever i talk about when in my time when i used to come when i started to come she has always been that one of those persons i look up to in that regard you know many that many has been but she has always been here mm. Has always been keeping a check, and she she motivates me sometimes when she don't see me. She'll call. She does send a yes, one God. text and a one word, and I'm really grateful for that. That's beautiful. You know, I love you, sister Evangelist Horton. <laughs> All right, God bless Sister Tandiwi. Thank you so much for calling. This that's just a beautiful thing. Thank you so much, Sister Tandiwi. Hello. Sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right. Let me have a name and where you're calling from. Blessings. So, hopefully you know my voice. But anyway, this is Michelle Cook calling you. Praise from, God. I'm a member of the Restoration Center calling you All from right. South. And I just want to scatter roses tonight. First of all, I want to say thank you to Missionary Wallace. That was really encouraging. Praise God. Um, I want to scatter roses tonight on missionary Zinette Samuel. Mm -hmm. You know, um, she has really been an inspiration to me. She is just so in tune with the young people. She is just so encouraging. I remember one Sunday we were on the outside after church and we were just there singing songs and you know I could just really feel <laughs> praise God her you know love and you know all of that and I just wanted to scatter roses on her tonight and mm -hmm. I know that sometimes things may discourage her and all of that but I just want her to keep on going because you know I'm looking up to her praise mm. God and I just I just want to say that I love her so much and that she should just continue strong in the Lord all right thank you so much missionary crooks thank you so much sending out some love to missionary samuels hope missionary is listening or watching praise god so you just received some roses sprinkled on you missionary samuels god bless you missionary crooks thank you so much praise god love is a beautiful thing it's a wonderful thing to give love and receive love and this is what we're doing tonight just sending love to someone wherever they are i'm certain there are persons who are presently especially now who are very discouraged persons who are going through this whole quarantine praise god let's go back to the phone lines hello good night go ahead hello hello yes we're asking you to remove yourself from your device that you're listening to and just go ahead and state oh, your name sorry. and where you're calling from are you hearing an echo yes i'm hearing an echo all right let me mm. all right i'm off good 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 thank you so much and to the others who would be calling in likewise go ahead state your name and where you're calling from all right so uh, this is sister moy all right <laughs> And I am also out of the restoration center. And I'm calling to scatter my roses. Mm -hmm. So tonight I'll be scattering roses to missionary Francine Brown, my Whoa. other mother. All right. Yes. So she had her time when she would bottles up yes <laughs> so sister came and touched you know and the other way good no she have our time and she rough us up but <laughs> she has really been a mother away from my mother to me and mm -hmm. i just want her to know i know i'm not sure she's listening or if tashina is online and she will see but I just want her to know that I love her and she should continue doing mm -hmm. all that she has been doing for me because she inspired us, especially wow. inspiring me. Wow. Yes. Sister Amoy. <laughs> That's your message, eh? Praise God. Sister Amoy, yes. uh, coming out of St. Elizabeth, blessing missionary Brown. So we do hope missionary. 
Hello? Um, it seems as if you're away from the phone. I'm not hearing you. All right, so it seems as if she's gone. All right, God bless you, my dear. Thank you so much. That's Sister Amoy out of St. Elizabeth calling in to bless Missioner Brown. And we do hope Missioner Brown is listening. And if you have heard that, I'm sure Sister Amoy would have encouraged your heart, Missioner Brown, and let you know just to keep doing what you're doing. Scattering Roses continues. We are on the final leg. Praise God. 784-9555. Call in. I remember... Anyone, praise God, who is a part of the kingdom, if you want to just bless somebody, you are free to do so. Call in 784-9555. Call in and bless somebody. Hello, call, go ahead. Hello. 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 Yes, yes, I'm hearing you. Are hearing me? Bless you, sir. Bless you, bless you, sir. This is Brother Kevoy. From the restoration. Yes, from the restoration. Right. Praise God. Just want to share and bless you. Yes. I just want to share a testimony tonight, you know. Okay. Go um, just to encourage the saints and the people listening. Mm -hmm. You know, in this time of pandemic, you know, a lot of us have bills to pay and have a lot of things to to do with money. And a lot of That's us right. right now are broke. Yes. So um <laughs> Just want to encourage um, the saints that you know God is a provider. Mm -hmm. He's truly a provider. You know, um, I was wondering where I'm gonna get money to pay my bills for the month of um, March. Mm -hmm. And um, usually my internet bill would come up to like seven thousand dollars per month. Mm -hmm. And I was praying really hard, and I'm saying, God. And what am I going to do? Because, you know, this is a really drastic time where we need money. And mm -hmm. I was praying and I got my bill in my email. And yes, it was regular, the amount of $7,000. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I got a reminder. I didn't have the money to pay. So I got a reminder about two days before an email was sent to me that I should pay my bill. And when I look into the email... Um, it was like $3,000. And I'm okay. like, $3,000. And I call, I insure, and then I went into the, the app. And when I checked the app, I saw that it was $3,000 owing. And I'm saying $3,000. So I called Flo. And I said, no, man, <laughs> something wrong here, so. So I called him and I said, um, can I be to the billing department? Because uh -huh. I need to clear my bill. Because yes. this is unusual. <laughs> like, it never happened before. Yes. Like this never happened before. And uh -huh. I called him and I said, I needed to clear this bill for me. And mm -hmm. I was there and the agent was saying, um, whatever amount you're seeing, that is what you're supposed to pay. I said, no, man, go and check again. <laughs> because when I check the months pass, it's the mm -hmm. same amount. And I'm seeing, I don't see where I've paid anything over mm -hmm. to have it brought over to the next bill. And mm -hmm. I'm saying, you know, go and check, man. And he went and he put me on hold and he come back and he said, yeah, man, the amount that you're seeing. And he might explain some things to me, but I, I never did I get it. I must say, like, some we appear, come over mm -hmm. here. So, and, and when I checked the bill, I didn't even I paid the exact amount that I was paying my bill on time. And I'm saying, look at that. And, I, I, and he said, $3,000 you're supposed to pay. And I said, thank you, Jesus. I went home and I said, man, look, they, they have a testimony. Thank said, you, I'm Jesus. Share this. Praise God. God is able Look here how your bills pile up. God is able to pay it off for you. He can split it in half or he can pay it off. For you. <laughs> so I'm just encouraging somebody tonight that God can pay your bills. So hold on, brother Kevoy, before you go. <laughs> so are you saying that before the bill was due, mm -hmm. God already paid half of it already? You trust me. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. What an awesome because God we serve. This I is an got, awesome yeah, testimony. Yeah, I got the bill. And mm -hmm. The bill is that amount. I mm. got the bill and that is the amount. And then Praise two days God. after, it has decreased. And you know, so they make company, you know, them, they, instead of them take the money from the bill, they put more money. <laughs> they put more in it. <laughs> you understand? So Indeed. I'm just giving God thanks for this testimony. Amen. You know, this, he's really powerful. a good God. Save more of four grand to buy more food. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Indeed, brother Kevoy. Thank you yeah. so much God for that true. testimony. And stay blessed, my brother. Okay. God bless God. you. Praise God. You, you heard it from the man himself. Praise God. Before the month was due, God allowed, praise God, the bill to be cut in half. He paid it already. That is the God that we serve. Even before the time comes, as a good father, he knows how to take care of his people. And this is why we continue to worship him. This is the reason why we continue to praise him. Because we have proven him in our lives. Praise God. All right. So we have come to the end of tonight's program. We hope what you have heard would have blessed you. Um, obviously, we are having some internet issues as well. But we thank you for your patience for working with us. That is really beyond our control. But for those who called in, I want to just bless God for all of you tonight and bear in mind that god's willing on tuesday night um by 8 30 i will be here with our tuesday night tuesday manner bible study so please we're asking you to stay tuned for that on tuesday thank you all for calling in and we hope that you stay blessed stay safe until we meet again god bless you all thank you so much for tuning in don't scare